Hello and welcome to Local News TV. Now, if like me you find yourself getting a little bit bored during the week, why not take up a new hobby? I'm here at the Hat Factory in Luton to check out Capuary. <laughs> Okay, I'm joined by John, one of the instructors here at the Capoeira class. Now, John, first of all, can you tell us a bit about your name in Capoeira? Yeah, my name is Dako. Dako, because I, I was the first black person who came to my group. And they gave me Dako. Da means gift, and cola, uh, ko means color. So that's how my name is Dako. Okay. So every person in Capoeira has a nickname. So that could be the way you move, or the way you look like. I mean, because I came to give cola, they put Dako as my name. And for people who don't know, could you describe a bit about what Capoeira is like first of all? Capoeira is very difficult to describe because Capoeira is what you want. But let me just say, tell a bit the history about Capoeira. Capoeira is a Brazilian martial art disguised as a dance. So it's being created by African slaves. So they went to Brazil and then from off they relieved themselves uh, uh, from the bosses or scenarios and then they invented or created Capoeira. So the way of to ask for freedom. Okay, Dante, can you tell me a little bit about your instruments? That you um, it's actually, um, it's called a bed and bow. Okay. Um, and, and it's used to sort of uh, set the pace for a hoda. So every time you do a, a hoda and you play a game, uh, basically, um, the bed and bow is the most important instrument. It sets the, the whole pace for the game. Um, and obviously, like you saw earlier, when you're playing a capoeira game, um, there's like three different rhythms that you play and that dictates the pace or the style of the game. All over the world now capoeira is very popular because so many actors or famous people they do doing capoeira for keep fit and then they think it's, it's, it's nice and fashionable. Because it's a very stress-free atmosphere in there. I know just on a stand of watching because you're singing, you have the instruments there. and. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, you come to the place, you see the music, you see everything, you feel free, you know. You come from, from your work, sometimes you're tired or even stressed, you come to the place, you just feel, you know, released and then you feel, well, with energy again, you know, you need to do something good. If people want to get involved, how do they, how do they go about that? Okay, in Luton, I'm doing in at Factory, I do every, every Mondays between 7.30 to 9pm. So if anyone is welcome to come and try, you know, so I think they'll they'll feel pleased from themselves to try. But I know in the beginning a lot of people they'll be scared, they say okay, I'm not gonna do it because it's difficult. No, just come and try and you'll be surprised as yourself how much you can do. And could you tell me also a little bit about, I noticed some of you are wearing ribbons, what, the, what they stand for? Uh, they're basically, um, it's, they're called kodows. Uh, it's like a, the equivalent of a martial arts belt. So um, basically, um, the belt and the colours that you have on your belt um, sort of um, they represent how long you've been doing capoeira and what level. What do you think is the best thing about it? I think it's complete. You understand complete? I mean, you sing, you have to, you have to be you know, fit, flexible, flexible. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great! It's really, it's just a really good sport. Just physically, as well as mentally. Like when I first first two classes I came, I was like scared to even do capoeira, and then I was just. So I was like the only beginner, and everyone else was kind of advanced. So, uh, but I just, everyone's really encouraging. So I just jumped in there, you know, like fall flat on my face. <laughs> it's okay. Well, that's all we have time for here at the Hat Factory. Now, if you'd like to start a query or you know someone who would, why don't you come down here to the Hat Factory every Monday at half seven? I've been Shay Van Campen for Local News TV. Yeah.